The first model we need to understand for respiratory anatomy is this sagittal section of the head. And here we see the upper respiratory system, particularly the nose, the throat, and the voice box. But there are anatomical terms for that. So here we are in the nose. These bumps or ridges in the nose, and there are three of them, uh, are called nasal concha. Um, this is the inferior concha, this is the middle nasal concha, and this is the superior nasal concha. In the skull, there are air-filled spaces that are called sinuses. This is the frontal sinus, and this is the sphenoidal sinus. Then we've got the area that people usually refer to as their throat, but throat is not an anatomical term. Our term for throat is pharynx. This is the pharynx. The pharynx has got three individual regions. The part of the pharynx that's right behind the nose is called the nasopharynx. The part of the pharynx that's right behind the mouth is called the oropharynx. And the part of the pharynx that is by this structure, which is called the larynx, this is called the laryngopharynx. If we go up into the nasopharynx, you see this hole here, and that hole is the opening to the eustachian tube, also known as the auditory tube. In this area, and it's not apparent on this model, there are tonsils that are called pharyngeal tonsils because they are in the pharynx. The tonsils that you think of as your tonsils are these tonsils here, and they are called the palatine tonsils. Uh, 